giving lessons in physics. Right, right. You should want a bad bitch like this. First look at JDX, the real McCoy here in Steel Man Wrestling, and what a monumental task he has ahead of him to get into the ring with the massive Brick McCarthy. I'm telling you, Brick looks like he's put on about 25 pounds since the last time we saw him, Jeff. That he does, and we're, we're still really in shock about what Brick McCarthy admitted to earlier tonight, that he was behind the attack on his partner. So from this man, he's capable of anything. You know, I do not understand for one minute. H here you have 300 uh, pounds. Look at it. Just disgust that McCarthy is dealing with JDX. Watch this now. Wait a minute now. Hold on. Oh, McCarthy. A step too slow. Whoa. Look at JDX now. Get back to my front in a minute. Nice drop. Whoa. Great drop kick. We didn't know much about JDX. Oh, hold on. Hip up to the midsection. But he he is not intimidated, and Brick McCarthy decides to bail out. You know, I started to say, what in the world possesses a man? You're on top of the world at Steel Domain Wrestling as a tag team champion for two years. The most successful tag team in the history of SDW. What in the world got into the head of Brick McCarthy to orchestrate that attack? on his tag team partner. Well, you know, I've been thinking about it in some of the interviews and just in conversation as now McCarthy is regaining control. But there is no question that the great tag team they were, that Brick's partner was kind of the spokesman. He was kind of the front man. And I'm wondering if Brick McCarthy just didn't feel underappreciated and that just began to gnaw at him and he did what he did. Well, certainly, you know, all the wrestling experts, Ken, you're, you're very aware of this. All sing the praises of Rick McCarthy, both, both as a singles and a tag team wrestler. But you may be right. Maybe he felt that the presence of Chadwick Wentworth III, no slouch in his own right, kind of put Brick in the shadows just a little bit. You know, and Mick, we're lucky enough, we're joined here at ringside sitting with Roger Buck who is so knowledgeable about professional wrestling. And he brought up a very good but painful point. We owe an apology to the Golden Idol. We all thought he was behind the attack, and it turns out of this time he was innocent. i tell you what I'll do. I will acknowledge that this time the Golden Idol was innocent. I will not 
on the other hand, apologized to the Golden Idol. In the meantime, Rick McCarthy doing a systematic dismantling. Oh, Justin McCoy. JDX, the real McCoy. He showed himself very well early on in the match, but now he got out of the way, but since then it's really been... Oh, oh. the top. Nope, nope. Caught himself on that, uh, that ring apron. Shoulder tackle from the outside. Watch JDX now going to the top. I don't know how advisable this is. We got a low ceiling there you here. Go. Oh, oh, God. God. What a maneuver on the part of JDX. In for the cover. What an upset. No. No. You know, I think Brick McCarthy thought there's no way he's going to try this with the low ceiling, and I think he surprised McCarthy. He certainly surprised us. Well, Brick McCarthy we got a low a ceiling here. Go. His intention is to oh, win. Oh, 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 what a maneuver on the I part of JDX. In for the cover. Either. Mitch Paradise or Heavy Metal Lord, July 13th in Lakeville, Minnesota. Don't take the, your eye off the ball here, Brick McCarthy. You're in the ring with a very talented JDX. <laughs> I'll tell you what, from what we know he's not capable of, I wouldn't put it past oh. Rick McCarthy in that battle royal to get that title shot. Count of two, lackadaisical cover on the part of Brick McCarthy. A little arrogant. Well, Brick has never, never lacked self-confidence. You know, even before he aligned himself with uh, with Chad with Wentworth the third, and they formed that that devastating three under par combination. We saw something in this kid a long time ago. I've called him the modern day Dick Murdoch, and I will stick by that. Facially, uh, physically, his style, a little taller maybe, yeah. but certainly the bulk is there. That brick is a big hit. Roll up again by JDX. I'm very impressed by what I've seen out of this young man. I'll be honest, Mick. I didn't think he had much of a chance just looking at this match on paper. What's Look at this. Oh, my God. He's got him in that crucifix. Count of one and two. Didn't quite get the, the leverage. Couldn't quite maintain the hold. But we are seeing an awful lot in the arsenal of JDX. You know, I've got to wonder if McCarthy has been so proud of himself over what he revealed, pulling off that attack, that maybe he didn't really focus on JDX. Snap, su snap suplex over the top. In for the cover, cut of one and two. No. You know, we talk about luminaries here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Marsh from Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine is here talking about uh, the glory days of professional wrestling. Taking notes here on Steel Domain. We are delighted to have Steve here in the house. You know what? One of the fans that really has an interest uh -oh. in, the, in the history of... Wait a minute now. What, what the hell? Thank now, look at Joltis. Now, that is a senior referee. And look at JDX go right after He's, McCarthy. No, McCarthy, too strong, held on. Watch this now. Big clothesline by JDX. And a second shot. Boy, if McCarthy is looking past him, it's a big mistake. Count of one, two, no. Didn't get all that he wanted on that slam. I think McCarthy thought he was going to have himself a very easy time in this match. Uh, he just does not seem as focused as he has been in the past. I want to get back to Steve Marsh for just a second because the guy's putting us over. I want to talk, this is his first live professional wrestling match. And he's been a fan for 34 years. And this is the first time he's seen the action up close and personal. Again, we're delighted to have him in the house. Now say good things about it. Wait a minute now. Look, look at McCarthy. Oh, God, that's got to do it. Modified stutter, cut it to, it's over. Wait, wait a minute, you're saying after 34 years, this is the first time... Steve Marsh has been willing to pay for a ticket. Oh, no, wait a minute. He used his press credentials to get in, and Hellier's not going to like that. Wait a minute. Look at McCarthy. Now, this one is over. There's no point in this. No reason for that. He got the victory over JDX, the real McCoy. Very hard-fought battle. I agree with you, Ken. There's no doubt that McCarthy took this one a little too lightly. But in the end, the big man from Augusta... The one club caddy, Brick McCarthy, gets the new here in Steel Wrestling.